Hello guys, it's been a while since I've been on YouTube, um, but I wanted to share um, one of uh, the cooling toolboxes that I got off of Amazon and um, and everything that's in it. Um, this is their like deluxe toolbox that I got um, off of Amazon for $50. Um, and it was here in like three days. It was really, really, really fast. Um, and um, everything that's in it comes with it. So I'm going to go through this toolbox. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit like or don't like. You can leave a comment down at the bottom if you want to. Um, so it opens up all the way where the top comes down. So it opens all the way. These are what's connected to them, and um, it keeps the lid connected. So um, um, it came with a one crimper. You have two settings on the crimper. Um, you have a weaving tool. You get pins. You get little pins to put on your board when you're using the paper to mold. Um, you get little mini glue containers, just like right here. And I'm going to take this out. Sorry. You get a weaving board. I haven't used that yet. I'm still kind of getting to know the equipment that I have and the tools. These are for paper molding. You get three different types. You have one is like a triangle. One is like a square and the other is like a circle. Um, So you use these to wrap paper around. Um, I have different size papers in here, different colors, and colors are the rainbow. And this is the quilling paper that you can you can order or you can cut your own if you want. I haven't done that. I've ordered um, my paper because I wanted to be the exact size of what I needed. And then um, you get quilling tools. You get six of these quilling tools. And they all go in their little spot and pocket, little tray on the second shelf. You get tweezers. You get one pair of tweezers. A pair of scissors that I haven't even used yet. I haven't really had to use scissors, but these are brand new. Um, a circle coach. Uh, this blue I put in there myself. You get a board. And they have different sizes uh, of boards. You can also flip it over and use the cork board on the back for your design. But um, these are the pins, these pins, the little berry pins that came came with it, you can use for the paper in each little hole. You stick a pin. And then these are the molds. So front side, different sizes, different uh, like width different shapes on the top of it. Um, you get an electric quilling tool, which is kind of cool. Um, then you get some other quilling tools that are up in the top that have like these grips on them. They're really cool. And they're super comfortable in your hand when you're using them. So all different sizes, different widths, shapes. Um, kind of self-explanatory there. Um, oh, these are my 
scissors that I put in here for an emergency if I needed scissors. Um, you know, I'm not really sure what this is. I'm not really sure what it's used for. I just noticed that it was in there and I just kind of keep them up at the top and just kind of let them sit there. Um, uh, and it, it all comes together all nice and neat. Like you can just put it all back together and it'll close up really nice. So you can actually keep all of your stuff in one toolbox, which I thought was super cute and super amazing how they have it all together. And, um, I just put, I'm just putting everything back in here. So yeah, this is 50, and then I got paper that I was going to need for when I do my, um, my projects and stuff. Um, I am super new at quilling. I have never done it before this, and, um, I see some really cool quilling designs, really cool, um, quilling, uh, patterns and everything. So it closes this right on up with everything in there. They come in different colors, like they have green, I think, blue. I didn't see any purple because purple is my favorite color and I didn't see any purple, but pink is one of the colors that they have. And then um, I got uh, some paper uh, from Amazon. I ordered some paper off of Amazon and they just came in about two weeks ago. I'm going to put you down for just one second. So this little box here, this is my metallic quilling paper. I got all different colors of metallic. I need to order a bigger size because the paper comes in 10 millimeter, seven millimeter, five millimeter, three and two millimeter. So you can get different sizes and that's what I did here. This is the three millimeter um, before I really knew um, what I needed. Um, I need to order some other size paper too. You can even make your own, uh, cut your own paper, but um, I don't want to do that because it just takes up a lot of time and I need to get a paper shredder and then it would all be just one size. But this is, um, this is the 42 different colors and um, I mean I got a t 42 different colors that self-explanatory I mean and you can do different designs. I love, I really like the quilling you can do flowers. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do with quilling. Um, but um, I've done a couple of things that um, I am perfecting, I guess is what you would say. Um, but yeah, this is kind of, I mean, there's tons and tons of paper in here. I have, like I said, 42 different colors. And I'm going to be ordering another set of these in the two millimeter so I can have the smaller, um, the smaller width. So like when you look at it, see how the width of this paper is really, really small. Um, same with this paper. It is really, really, really small. These are the three millimeter. These are the five millimeter. I need to get some more three millimeter um, paper. Well, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe and put a comment down at the bottom if you guys have any questions or if um, maybe you guys have some information that you guys want to share. That would be great. Um, but this is the toolbox. And this is the paper.